Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you today? Today we start a new series called KMA's Jams. So let's create a world. New world, um, more world options. We got nothing, just go back to this and name the world what we need to name it. KMA's Jams. So let's create the world. And what does JAM stand for for this new series? JAMS is actually an acronym for just another Minecraft series. So that's what this is. Because I've started so many recently, and unfortunately I've had to end them for specific reasons, which I will tell you in a few minutes. But let's check out what this series is. What, ooh, haha. Let's just get up here real quick and look around. Look around. Snow biomes. No igloos here because this is not 1.9. I am doing this in 1.8. Let me optionize hard. <laughs> we got that done. So let's get us some trees and I'll tell you about why I'm starting a new series. Why there's a face cam. Huh? Yeah, you like that? You like seeing my face? Probably not, but um, trying something new. But this series... Um, if you've seen my other series, I've done lots of building projects and stuff, but I've run out of time with uh, work and stuff. It is season. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, it is season now, so my time is not as free as it was um, a little while ago. So I have to. I'm gonna make 12 sticks. We'll find out why later. Um, I don't have the free time like I did before. So before, uh, my series were basically very intensive building-wise. Um, this series will be more intensive talking-wise. It's going to be more of a, hello, this is me, my name is Keith, and this is what makes me tick. <laughs> it's going to be more, um, talking because I don't have the time to you know, record for 10 minutes and do 8 hours of projects in between recording because I will be at work. So I will only have a few hours of recording in between, I mean, of play in between the recording. Um, so I won't be able to do the big projects. So I figured, you know, this would be a great way for people to get to know who I am. So if you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me, go below in the comment section and just ask me anything you want um, I don't care and by the way my favorite color is blue and if I was a tree I'd be a blue willow is there even anything called a blue willow <laughs> I don't even know there probably is a blue willow somewhere somebody can tell me that but it doesn't really matter because <laughs> because it doesn't really matter yeah there's words for you so I'm just setting myself up, obviously, because I have no idea what this world is about. And um, so I'm just going through the first motions, like I'm pretending I'm starting the UHC, and I'm just getting my stuff as fast as I possibly can, and so I can get ready. Leave always leave my first crafting bench, so I know where I started. Whenever I find my spawn again, it will be a historic place if I decide to keep the series going for a long time. So once I got my uh, blocks, because I always like to start with like a half a stack of cobble, um, I kind of get a half a stack of wood, so I don't really have to worry about the wood. And then I will go out and get some food. Excuse me. Uh, get some food before the end of day. And there's some pigs over there. Oink, oink. And then by nighttime, we're going to go into uh, a cave and just cave a little bit. And that will be this episode. This episode is actually going to be zero cuts. But after today's episode, um, all the other episodes will have cuts in them. Just um, instead of maybe four or five cuts, we'll only have two or three cuts. I plan on recording these episodes over a span of uh, two or three days. I don't know if I'm going to how often I'm going to put <clears throat> these episodes up, and I'm not going to guarantee you guys anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, 
because I'm not sure how recording and playing this game is going to fit into my schedule right now. So for right now, I'm just going to play it by ear, then the schedule will form out of it somehow. And um, once I figure out what I can actually handle while I'm working, um, I will let you guys know how often these are going to be coming out. So I am at the stage of killing piglets. And as you see, things have changed a little bit. Um, what has happened to me? I'm going to make a couple of furnaces before I leave the area with the crafting bench. Um, one day, a few weeks ago, now that you know about what this series is going to be, I'll, I'll tell you what has happened, basically. One day, a few weeks ago, Zisto released, it's all Zisto's fault, I tell you. He released a video called Crumbling Walls on his Ragecraft 2. Um, playthrough series. It's a CTM map, really good one, and a series I enjoy very much. And halfway through his video, my computer decided to turn off all by itself. Not thinking about it, you know, well, I'll just restart it up. And after a minute or two, it turned off all by itself again. Not thinking about it, I tried to turn it back on, and it wouldn't turn on at all. No smoke, no fire, no nothing, just bleh. Bleh is my favorite word lately. Itch, itch. So, um, okay. We got food, so let's go caving. I don't need anything else. Do I? No. Let's go caving. Let's get some iron on me. Um, so what had happened was I had blown, overheated my um, graphics card. And I guess my PSU, the power supply unit, decided to stop working. So I did not actually fry my motherboard. So my worlds and everything are still on that computer. But um, I don't have the funds to fix that computer right now. <clears throat> so I decided to kind of put that to the side for a little bit. And get a new computer and you may be going wait a second how can you not have funds to fix a 30 to 50 dollar part and instead you go out and get a another computer well there is a website where I can have uh, funds deducted from my paycheck just like that up daily I mean uh, for every paycheck, so it's not daily. <laughs> I wish I got paid daily, but um, <laughs> uh, each paycheck I get paid every other week, I'll have like $35 taken out of the pay um, to pay for the brand new computer I bought. And so it actually had no upfront costs. Yes, I'm paying probably $100 more ultimately for the computer when I'm all done paying for it, and that's the vig of the company that set this up for me, but that hundred dollars allows me to do this now instead of weeks from now so I'm very happy uh, about that um, because at first when I lost the computer I was like oh I feel freedom this is cool but after a couple of days of freedom and finding out that TV still really sucks um, I was really missing the computer, so I am really happy I have a computer and able to do this again. So the future of the computer that died, as I itch my nose but instead pick it, <laughs> the face cam is wonderful, I can't get away with that stuff. Um, I have all my world saves on the hard drive which I can't get to right now so I have to start a new series which I decided to be this which is KMA's Jams just another Minecraft series <laughs> and um, I'm gonna eventually fix that other computer and give it to my daughter so when I fix it though I will have the ability to get those worlds back and I can restart the Keith Plays series 
and any other series that I had on there that I was contemplating or whatever. But basically the Keith Play series. I do have that world with the Guardian Temple in the middle of the ocean next to my Villager Breeder. But that is probably going to be on hold till summertime. So we are going to be doing just this series called KMA's Jams. <laughs> Which I, I chuckle whenever I say that. Just because when I was growing up, and this was a long time ago, there is a clothing company called Jams. And it was kind of a cheesy 80s, yeah, 80s uh, clothing company that had all bright colors and stuff. And I used to think I was so cool wearing these, like, I don't know, tie-dye looking clothes to school and these jams, which we used to call them, jams. <laughs> and they're so cheesy nowadays. Go look them up. It's, it's funny. I, I, maybe I'll post a uh, thing on Twitter of a picture of me in jams if I can find an old pair of jams. That would be uh, a hoot, to say the least. Um, <laughs> those are really strange clothes. So that's why I always chuckle, because I, it's just a thing from my past that was kind of funny, and I kind of always laugh at myself for really liking those clothes. Oh, look at all these creepers. Let's back up. Hi. Aww. So, um... So everything on my channel has been uh, paused and I am starting this new series and um, it's gonna be more of a talkative series am I under the water I I don't want to melt that ice um, and it should be fun it should be a lot of fun and I hope you do enjoy it so if you have any questions or anything just please let me know um, and I'll answer them and if you have any suggestions of what I should do please let me know and let me uh, tell you this texture pack that I made prior a couple of months ago for my original series it looks like I, this cave is already a dud how much iron I only have seven iron Ugh. um where did I come down where did I come down oh I came down up here Oh, I got some more cave. Yay! Um, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. Oh, another creeper. Aww. I don't mean to blow you up all the time. You, you notice how I always sit back with creepers? I'm like, get away, get away, get away! So it's interesting with the face cam. Um, definitely let me know on that. Uh, if I should keep it or not. I spent some time last night getting the border up and tweaking this whole new series oh I know what I was gonna tell you about my um my texture pack my texture pack is basically faithful 32 and I just been making it lately um, the other day so I can oops hold on Concentrate while making torches. So I can have the same texture pack as I had before the computer died. Unfortunately, the texture pack was on the hard drive and not the external hard drive where I kept most of my stuff because I knew eventually my computer was going to die because all computers die eventually. Um, so it's basically Faithful 32 and the rainbow colored uh, XP bar I will find out exactly who it is. If you type in Rainbow Toolbar Football or Rainbow XP Bar Football, the username who made it is Football with a whole bunch of numbers. Don't ever make a YouTube name or a username with something and a whole bunch of numbers because nobody will ever remember those numbers. So this guy's name is Football with a whole bunch of numbers. And it's a Rainbow XP Bar and I just extracted it out of the icons ping because texture packs is basically just a whole bunch of um, pings uh, files pictures ping pictures um, put in certain locations with certain names to so the 
uh, game knows what to look for when it needs this particular item. So it goes, where's the icon's ping? And it goes to a certain place on the icon's ping to put the XP bar up. So with a program like Photoshop or After Effects, which is what I use because I'm more into the motion animation, um, I don't even actually have Photoshop on my computer, but I do have After Effects for the animations and intros and stuff that I make. Um, so I just take the bits and pieces off of different um, texture packs that I like and create my own. So the rainbow is from uh, f some guy football with a whole bunch of numbers. And his um, hearts, you know, where it shows how many hearts I had, were blue. And I didn't like that. So I took the actual faithful hearts and faithful, the rest of the toolbars there, and um, put them with his rainbow thing. And I also took Ovis Rustic. O-V-O-S, Rustic, and took the, no, actually these are Ovis, the center squiggly thing for my crosshairs is from Ovis Rustic, the torches are from Ovis Rustic, the toolbars, these things, are from Fairy Light, and what I did is I took Fairy Light and I put them into my image edi editor, and hued them blue so everything would be blue, all the toolbars and stuff. I haven't changed the inventory thing yet. Before I had a see-through inventory, but I wasn't really a big fan of that. So I'm not pushing to get that back on there. Um, so I don't mind the original inventory that it came with. I'm trying to think what else have I have in here. I have the Halicon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Let's look at my uh, resource packs. Halcyon Days Sky, and there's my KMA Super Blue Texture Pack. Uh, the, the sky, so the clouds and stuff that you see, um, are the Halcyon. And I think B00 used those. Um, a friend of mine, Lapis Demon, this demon makes videos, and, uh, she showed, well, not me, in her video she showed how to put this sky on and it's the best guy I think there is but I also changed it up um, initially in my old pack I had a Misa's Sun and Moon but I took random I just typed in um, I see you zombie I just typed in Google uh, Sun PNG Minecraft and Moon PNG PNG I should say Minecraft and I came up with the Sun and Moon let me see if I can see the moon real quick without dying there's the moon. It's kind of got the blue tweak, but I love the sun in this. The sun, um, actually, I don't know where I got it from because, where are you? I hear you falling. There's a bunch of them somewhere. Maybe I should just run outside. Oh, and they're coming. Is it? Yeah, hello, guys. Where are you? I, I know there's more coming. So, um, the sun is really cool. I don't know which website it came from because basically, um, when I looked up sun PNG Minecraft, I, it came up with a uh, Japanese name. It was all in Japanese characters. And forgive me, I've not, I haven't really learned my Japanese as well as I should. So I don't know the website it came from because it came from character, 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 dot character. <laughs> So, um, I'll show you the sun when the sun rises. So the texture pack is pretty close to what I had before. There's some changes to it, but changes for the better because I wouldn't change things for the worst, I guess. It's pretty obvious. <clears throat> and I kind of apologize that there is no cut in this particular video. But with all <clears throat> good Minecraft series, the first video should really not have cuts. So from here, I am going to, after this video, I'm going to try and find a place to call my home, uh, explore the world a little bit, 
get some iron gear. I got 37 iron, so I should go smelt this up so I can put on some armor, make a bucket, make some iron tools, and some, you know, an iron sword so I can go down to lava level and get some diamonds and maybe get some cows so I can get an enchantment table. Then I probably go to the nether to get some at least some nether quartz so I can make some comparators and make a chicken breeder cooker thingy and other stuff. Let's show you the the sky. Get away from the skeletons a little bit. Because I really like the sky and I got the Minecraft running on the highest settings and uh, so there's that ambient light stuff going on here. Oh that's not even the the sun. Oh, it is the sun that I like. Okay, it just looks different on the side. See, it's got those little lens flares, and I think that kind of makes it nice, so. But, let me see what's going on here. How do I do this again? That's how I do this. And I guess I should get rid of the mustache. This has been Keith from KMA's Corner. Episode 1 of KMA's Jams. I hope you really like it. Give me any suggestions, comments on what I should improve with the texture pack and the way this video looks. And just let me know what you're looking for in this series and maybe I can get that for you. So I'm very happy to be back. Very sad that my old computer died. But I am very happy for this new series. And this is going to be the only series I'm going to run for the winter time till summer. So this is going to be my focus. There's going to be really nothing else going on because I'm going to be busy with work. So, uh, with much ado, I'm going to bid farewell. Thank you for watching. This is going to be fun. Keep looking for my videos and say hi. Say hi. I'll say hi back. And have a great day. It's Keith, KMA's Corner. Bye.